you need 10 good signings at a club up and out. Like, a lot of top clubs have done it. United have made five investments. Anthony, Sancho, Casemiro, who else? Bro? All three are have to be reinvested upon, by all the way. All three just have saying. to be reinvested. And they all went for very big money. Coming to Ten Hag then, like, if, if you actually sack Ten Hag, then who, who do you get in? Do you, do you get Pochettino in because he's sacked from Chelsea? Do you get Tuchel in because after like he he like he had a decent season with Bayern but he should have done better honestly or mm-hmm. like do you keep Ten Hag or do you get some random new person like if, if you see right now there's so many clubs looking for managers and nobody has even given a whiff about Roberto De Zerbi right now like Bayern have gone and signed Vincent Company, but there was like not even a single rumor about De Zerbi going to Bayern or De Zerbi going to Chelsea or somewhere nothing Kieran McKenna, Pochettino, Company, these are the kind of managers who are sort of going around the table. So what do you think? Like, in your as a Liverpool fan, I mean of course you would probably say Ten Hag in because like Ten Hag is such a shit manager, is that but like footballing terms, what what do you think? I mean I think they should be all over Pochettino, don't you think? I think his 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 C V and because I think again mm-hmm. even when um, I th- when Ole was getting sacked uh, that season, it was all about Pochettino and who will get Pochettino, right? At that point of time, U- United the, were craving for United him. and yeah, United were debating between Pochettino and Ten Hag, and they picked Ten Hag. Pick Ten Hag for some, and again yeah. it didn't work out. But again, I think Pochettino you should just look at what he has done, man. I think in especially with Chelsea, with such of a mess of a squad, and United is not that big of a mess. I mean, in the in the backroom staff and in the in the way the club is run, probably United is a bigger mess. But on field, in terms of players, at least United are better compared to Chelsea in terms of the player dynamics and everything. And if Poch can do a job as good as that and then get them finished in the Champions League, you know, the Europa League spots, then why can't he do the same thing with United? And they should be, again, I, people would say Tuchel, again, but Tuchel would be like a short-term fix, like yeah, one or two seasons would be good, amazing, great, and then he'll fall out with the ownership. So it's not going to be a long-term fix, Tuchel. But Poch, you know, people should be all over him. And Roberto De Zerbi, again, I'm not sure what's the deal with him. His Brighton haven't I think they finished like 10th or 11th this season. I was hoping that yeah. at least they'll be close to some 6th or 7th or right outside of Europe. But that that's, that didn't happen. I mean, if you give good backing to managers like Pochettino and De Zerbi, the kind of, you know, players not leaving them and, you know, signing the players that they want to be signed, I don't know why he can't succeed. And United should be looking at Poch. And I don't know who else is available right now. Well, I'm saying I know you have a lot of thoughts on this. Go on. <laughs> Don't hold back. Dude, I'm thinking about... I'm zooming out, like, and thinking about it, right? If I am United mm-hmm. right now, and if Chelsea have, if Chelsea are getting a new manager, Liverpool are getting a new manager, Arsenal are going to keep theirs, City might get a new manager next season, Tottenham going to Tottenham, whatever. And I think Una Emery going to Una Emery. I think these are the top coaches in the Premier League. Like, honestly, right now. His hobby is out, company is out, McKenna is at Ipswich, Sean Dash is at Everton. Yeah, I don't know, maybe Oliver Gasman at Crystal Palace. Why are you like saying a- top managers and Sean Dash? Like, is, is it yeah. a thing? Well, I think Cause, Sean Because he beat the Liverpool. Top in the exactly. Derby. <laughs> okay, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, he's better than company. <laughs> if we're talking about top managers. We have top managers in Bundesliga now, company and. <laughs> Yeah. Shabi <laughs> See, think about it, right? Ten Hag is one of the guys in the Premier He's one of the coaches in the Premier League who's known as squad the longest, right? So if you have if you have any hope or chance, right, to finish in the top four, you would actually bet on Ten Hag because everybody else is new and they're working with a new squad, and it's first season for more for like all of them. So if you sack him now, and you also. Now, if you sack and get somebody in, somebody new, could be a Deserby, could be could be a Pochettino, could be a Tuchel, mm. uh, could be Ruben, dude, Ruben Amorim. Remember the hype that was around this guy? Isn't he going to West Ham? Oh, wait, West Ham already has that guy. But I mean, Lopetogi, yeah. But, yeah, Lopetogi, sorry. Mm. Lopetogi, yeah, also yeah. Lopetogi, top coach. Uh, <laughs> There's not that many, like, what do you call it, top managers that know their squad really well in the Premier League right now. So, if I were United, 
and these are the options that I have. I would stick with Tenag because you don't have to fire him. Your squad contracts are up. Yeah, and and your squad contracts are up. You can actually do a squad overhaul. I was telling this to Sid yesterday. It doesn't manager. It doesn't really matter who the manager is. You need ten good signings at a club. Up and up, like a lot of top clubs have done it. United have made five investments: Anthony, Sancho, Casemiro. Who else? Bro? All three are have to be reinvested upon. By all the way, just saying. All three have to be reinvested, and they all went for very big money. Uh, and uh-huh. yeah, and Holland sort of paying off. And Mount, I don't know yet. Right, like five big investments went into the Denmark. Martinez. Martinez, yeah, okay, Martinez, good. Onana might come through. He's not, he's not like the worst player, but he did cost United so much this season. So a lot of investment has been made, right, with the manager that's in here. If you don't give him time, then now you have to do all the signings again and compete with these boys, with Chelsea and all these clubs that have made the ten signings and have like. Got to do manage them. So its question is where do you play? Do you play where the these clubs where these old clubs are playing, or do you play where Arteta and Pep are playing, where they know their squad and they know exactly yeah. what they need for the okay. league? So I think yeah. there are three things Ineos can do right now in this situation. One yeah. is they can just let it be and you know let Ten Hag stay out for one more year. And if they yeah. do that, then it basically means that Ten Hag is the scapegoat manager. We will take him. We will let him like take all the blame while we like buy those five six Five more players who will actually come good for the squad next season, like season after. Or you give Ten Hag a new contract right now, committing to him, saying you are our manager for the rebuild, which is unlikely to happen. Or they get a new manager in this season itself, who again they commit to saying this is your, we are our rebuild manager, and then the problem with that is while. In the course of the next season, United will not be a top-level team at all. Nowhere close, and you are still going to be in the process of the rebuild. And you saw what happened with Arteta at Arsenal when he went through, right? Like those two seasons were horrible, and you were seeing Arteta out this that all the time. So I think it's a it's a very tricky situation to be honest. Like you either keep Ten Hag and make him scapegoat for one year, and then like get somebody else bye to bye. yeah yeah take the ship from there, or you. Fully commit to some person, but I don't see that person like Pochettino. Maybe, but I don't see him as a rebuild manager. To be very honest, as mm-hmm. a fan at least. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, same. The thing is, we can't commit to a new manager because we don't have operators at the club. Firstly, and we haven't. We don't have the players, bro. We don't have the players. Honestly, we just don't have the players. They don't even uh, have the people taking decision on the managers right now. Like Ashford yeah. and Berada and all are not even in the club right now. So. Yeah, so we're not ready to do the step that you're trying to say when you get in a rebuild manager and back him. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? You don't do anything, right? Then you yeah, stick just, with what just you have. Wait. I think yeah. my only question at this point is like, would you would your stance would it would it have still been the same if? Ten Hag didn't win the FA Cup. Ten Hag has a approval rate of what seventy percent, uh, like that article I, that you shared. Exactly, yeah. and I think everything <laughs> everything skewed after the FA Cup win. And I think most yeah. of it is coming from the point where towards Vamshi uh, alluded to earlier, right? I think basically they yeah. are like, okay, let's just see. Um, be vice be Gaya Pura. Everything everything is done. There is nothing um which is going to happen in the next season, which you, where we become Premier League champions or or this is the last thing. Our legends are leaving. Something has to happen. As a good agency, nahi hai. So what we'll mm. do is we'll just like not give him a new contract. Will his contract will be done next season? And because United doesn't need just some slight modifications on the coaching or on field, because they have a lot of things to do in the back room as well in, in the back end in terms of setup and how their system yeah. works and all of that. So they'll be like, I probably the only reason to not sack Ten Hag is to make sure that they'll get all the setup done uh, behind the scenes, and then they'll see how this season goes. And then at that point, if you sack him or if you don't offer a new contract or if you can talk to a new coach, for example, Poch or whoever, yeah. and say, okay, no matter what happens, you're going to take over in at the in the next summer. 
that probably is a good long term approach yeah with ten hag it's done yeah you've won an fa cup you've gone the entire summer all of everyone needs yeah. everyone all of you are happy awesome yeah yeah, yeah i think that's what's going to happen i mean it's because... a, it's also a nice place to be in right to what you're saying abin of that mm-hmm. you are getting a te- you're keeping a temporary manager who's, who's winning you random cups and trophies mm-hmm. but like that that just to keep the fans you know pacified For the time being, while you actually run the show behind the scenes, and exactly, 